Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So you know in about two weeks, I'm gonna be taking all of my breeder snakes out of brumation, but today I'm gonna to be just checking up on them. I got some water bowls I gotta check, so I'm gonna go through them with you. But before we do that, I have some priorities I gotta take care of. I'll be right, right back. Oh yeah. So I didn't have coffee all day today. I was working this morning at work. Really wanted some coffee, but I didn't have any. Just so I could come home, do this nice video, and share a cup of coffee with you guys. And I wanna say happy Friday, and I wanna make a toast to everybody watching the videos and enjoying these reptiles. So I'm here with Paprika to start things off. As you know, she's not breeding this year. Last year she bred for the first time and she didn't have any good eggs. They were all slugs, so I gave her a break. She also lost a lot of weight. She didn't want to eat after breeding, but now she's been eating like a champ, taking down some jumbo mice, looking beautiful. So next year she's gonna be ready. Now look how beautiful this girl is. And let's go check up on some of the snakes that are in the cooler and in brumation. I see you. So to help these king snakes breed, they need to be put in cool temperatures for 90 days to mimic the winter season. Now out here in South Florida, we don't have those temperatures, so I'm using this cooler to do that. This is what happens before the magic happens. Now I do have some corn snakes that are breeding. They're in the next room. I'm not showing them today, but uh, we can do that in another video. So first off, I'm gonna show you Apollo, the ink drop Cali King. Hopefully I could produce a couple that look like him. I like that ink drop pattern and his girl is in the room next door. We're not gonna show her today but I got a nice pair right here you might be interested in. Man, I must say, Edge really has a crisp look to him. An amazing California king snake. This is gonna be our first year breeding him or any of the Cali kings, and he's gonna be pairing up with Xena. Now, what are we looking for when we take these snakes out of the brumation cooler, just doing checks? I'm making sure, first of all, the snake looks healthy. I'm making sure the eyes look clear. I'm making sure that there's no signs of scale rot and the snake didn't lose too much weight or any weight. And so far, Edge looks perfect. He didn't lose really any weight at all. And you know, their metabolism is gonna be a lot slower when it's cold like this, the slow tongue flicker. And I'm checking for condensation in the bin Make sure it's not wet, touch the bedding. If it's wet, change it. You want it nice and dry. And we're checking the water bowls. Make sure there's water in there that's clean. If it's not, provide some fresh water. Now I'm really excited because Edge and Xena have a very similar pattern. And I think the babies are gonna be really crisp. We're gonna be showing Xena up next. And this is the girl that Edge is gonna be pairing with. So you just seen Edge, now you're seeing his girl, Xena. Looks like she was drinking a lot of water. So you can see Xena's got some good size to her. She's extra chunky. I wanted to make sure she had some good weight to her before putting her into the cooler. Now her, her pattern is more bold than Edge. She's got those solid blacks and whites. It's more up front and Edge has that clean checkerboard looking pattern so I think between these two we're gonna make some magic definitely and uh, she definitely didn't lose too much weight her colors look nice the bedding is nice and dry and we just gave her some water so she should be good and we got some magic that's gonna happen in a couple more weeks So up next we have Mojave. You can see right there that condensation, but that's on the outside of the bin. So I don't see too much on the inside. And check out Mojave. 
Tara Hamara Mountain King Snake. Now these need a little bit longer of a brumation period and a little bit cooler than the regular king snakes. So when I take everybody out on March 1st, I'm gonna leave these in for another two to three weeks and lower the temperature to 45 degrees because I have it set at 51 right now. Everything is nice and dry. Even though you saw some condensation on the outside of the bin, the inside is nice. Give them a little bit of nice spring water. His colors look real nice. And this is the guy that got the respiratory infection last year in the cooler. I had to cancel the breeding project. But you can see this year, I'm keeping things nice and dry. He's looking nice and healthy. So let's check up on his girl. So now this is Sahara, the female. Everything feels nice and dry in here. She needs a little bit more water. Give her that nice crisp spring water. Only the best, only the best. You wanna produce the best, you gotta start with the best, the best of everything. Now her colors look nice and vibrant. The lighting in this room is a little bit dull, so you can't see everything perfectly. But something I really like about these, the high band count. That's what I really like. So when I produce babies, try and hold back some with real high band counts. Um, that's what they call the mega band. Put her back. So now these are my T-positive Nelson's Milk Snake, Het Splotched. Can't wait to see those babies, get some splotched babies. Everything feels nice and dry. Now she needs some water. Man, so this girl's looking hefty as well. You could tell she might go into shed. Doesn't happen too often in brumation, but it does sometimes. But once she comes out of that skin, she looks beautiful. You want the best quality snakes. You want to produce the best. You got to start with the best. The best breeders, the best stock. And she is going to be glowing soon. Now the condensation in this bin is nice and dry. And I'm going to show you her mate coming up next. So now let's check out this guy, looking nice and robust. Definitely, definitely didn't lose any weight. Looking like a champion and no signs of weight loss at all. No signs of skill rot or respiratory infections. And this, this guy's gonna need some water. So now I'm here with Shadow. This guy's gonna be breeding next year for the first time. He's gonna be breeding with Raven. Has a very similar pattern to this. I like the nice dark base color black with those real thin, thin white bands that slightly break up. Really interesting look. So now this is Raven, just showed you Shadow, this is Raven, look at her belly real quick, has that nice piano board look. And if you look, they look very similar, the only difference is, I don't think you could see on camera, but Shadow is a jet black snake with white bands. This girl has like more of a chocolatey brown blackish color, again it's hard to pick it up on camera, but they're their markings are very similar. You can see that little breakage in the tail, just like Shadow. Now this girl is not ready to breed this year. I could have tried, but I want to give her one more year to get well over 300 grams. And check her out, look at that tail. So now we got Sapphire, another breeding project for next year. Blue White Lavender. Look at these colors, the camera can't even pick it up. She's so beautiful. And I'm gonna show you who I'm gonna be pairing her with next. So now this is the male that's gonna be pairing with Sapphire, hopefully next year, if not the following. With the males, you don't need them to be big like the females. They're not carrying the eggs, but you don't want them to be too small. That might be a quick male for Sapphire. Wow, that belly is just amazing, it's glowing. And this is a lucky man 
to be able to pair with such a beauty like Sapphire. Ah, oh, can't believe we ran out of coffee. All right, so that means we gotta wrap up this video, but before we do, I wanted to tell you guys next week, Tampa Repticon, one of the biggest reptile shows in Florida. I'd say the second largest reptile show in Florida behind Daytona. Now, if you're in the area, you don't wanna miss this show. Even if you have to take a nice little drive up there or down there, it's really nice. It's a really big venue. If you like lizards, amphibians, snakes, pythons, whatever you like, they're gonna have it. And it's a great show, a bunch of great breeders. So you definitely wanna go to this show. Now I'm gonna be heading up there Friday, be at the show Saturday morning. I'm gonna be there all day. I'm gonna come back on Sunday, pick up some supplies and then continue to record because you know the show's real big. I like to record everything. And if you see me at the show, don't forget to say hi. I'd love to feature you guys, all of you guys. You buy any reptiles, we'll get you in the video, ask you some questions, show the amazing reptile you picked up. You could always come back and look at these videos five, 10 years later. You got a little baby lizard at the show. In 10 years, it's like Godzilla. So that coffee really gave me a boost, the boost that I need. And you know, I'm gonna be going back to work later. But tomorrow, we're going to be doing some feedings. I got a lot of snakes to feed Saturday and Sunday. So wait for those videos. But right now, I'm hungry. I ran out of coffee. So I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow. Just be safe. And I'll see you in the next one.